Hi, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn a bit about uh, interleaved uh, buffer. And what interleaved buffer is? Well, it's just basically uh, our data. Now that we have here, will become a single array instead of three separate ones. And it works sort of like this. So we had uh, this, for example. Actually, let's let's use this vertex here. And then we describe it in terms of positions, in terms of color, and in terms of texture coordinates. Uh, and here I prepared something. So uh, if you see here, uh, we can also draw parallels here. Uh, we had, for example, that first vertex. We had it here, here, and here. And now instead of having three separate arrays, which is also called structure of arrays, that's a pattern, uh, we we're just going to have it described uh, in, in this sort of way. So everything will be uh, together and then this this will be our first vertex, then second vertex, etc, etc. So this pattern is called array of structures because our structure is uh, described in single array or our vertex. Uh, so how do we do that? Well, it's it's now you already probably figured it out. It's relatively easy. So we can just say here x, y, we can say here u, v, and then we can say here r, g, and b for colors, just as a description so that it's, it's easier to work with. And then we just describe our bottom left. Oh, this is a good suggestion. Uh, we can describe our bottom uh, right, top left, and here. So maybe just a bit of space so that it's easier to see. So basically this one goes here, this one goes here, this one here, and for colors we are always had one, 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 so that doesn't even matter. So we can get rid of this. And then we can get rid of this. And I'm just going to rename this a bit uh, to vertices because now the description position is, is it's a bit uh, weird. Anyway, uh, also one small thing that I'm going to do is in our shader, I'm actually going to use texture coordinates at position uh, zero. I, I just think I prefer it that way for some reason. Uh, then just make sure the change locations as well uh, for texture coordinates is going to be zero and here as well let's just change it so that it's consistent so let's just use one here and colors are two so be careful about this two and this two uh, now if we look at our code somehow it still works let's see because i'm not running it I had the uh, tab open, so it was local host 5174, and it's not working uh, because we broke it, but it should be easy to fix. So we need to go here in our code. So now we just have vertices. We don't have these two. And let's just rename our position buffer. So here we don't have texture currents buffer anymore or and colors buffer. So I'm just going to call this vertices buffer. All right, still broken, and that's fine. If you remember, uh, we also had to describe our uh, pipeline and how it was used. So now we had this color and texture layout, and we can get rid of it. And we can just call this buffer layout. I think it will be a bit uh, clearer. So we just paste to our buffers buffer layout, and now uh, if you remember, our data now has uh, here, it has x, y, u, v, r, g, b. So we have seven floats. So we need to correct our array stride. So basically array stride describes a single vertex or this, uh, sorry, this here, this here, and this here, etc. So, uh, but also we actually now have to pass more attributes. So we're now going to pass texture coordinates. Uh, it's shader location one. We have to offset it for these positions. So basically, um, let's see. Here we had positions. So now we're working with UV and we have to offset UV for these two positions. So we do that uh, right here. Format was 
32 times 2 and lastly colors so shade location 2 we now have to offset them for 4 we have to offset them for uh, positions and texture coordinates so for this here and format is for 32 times 3 so just be mindful of uh, this as well and finally still not working but it's still not working because we had uh, old uh, vertexes buffers so just here uh, I renamed two vertices buffer to already code everything because I used the uh, feature of Visual Studio and now if I just refresh it works so that's how it's done uh, hopefully you see some benefits of it even if you don't uh, I mean uh, you're going to get data in in every format and I do prefer this format it's a bit less code uh, everything is probably organized a bit better so yeah uh, I'm, I'm think I'm going to use that format from now on so just wanted you to know it and it also kind of uh, uh, well we, we can do with less code here so we don't have to specify buffer layout for each of these we can just use one and then specify our attributes so that's it for this video uh, next time uh, we're going to be finally dealing with orthographic projection and uh, and this uh, bind group layouts here so hopefully you enjoy this video and until next time